In this video, we will prepare email message parameters, load up email message from email template, and we'll finally send email message uh, with the confirmation link uh, to a user. Okay, so let's start by preparing uh, email parameters like uh, message subject uh, from and to. So I have uh, prepared um, a little um, script so I don't have to type a lot. And um, what we're doing here is we're declaring a PHP array and then we populate this array with a key value pairs like a message subject will be equal to please confirm your email address. This subject uh, can be uh, any other subject like you can customize it um, uh, to your needs. And then to email is the uh, email address of the recipient or the user we are sending this email message to. And email address comes from the uh, database, from the user details uh, we um, have just registered. And then from name, well, this is uh, most probably uh, your name or the name of your business uh, that you're sending it from. So um, because I'm, I'm working on this script, so um, I have my name here and my email address. So the message will be sent from, um, from um, on behalf of, of myself. Okay, so email parameters are ready and we will need to use these email parameters in the, um, um, when, when we're sending email to a user. Next up is uh, we need to load email message from email template. Well, first of all, we need to create this email template. So I will go back to my uh, PHP project and here I'll create a new folder and I'll give it a name include or ink short like this. And inside of this uh, include folder, I'll create a new um, HTML file, which I will use as email message. So I will call it email, oops, email message. And inside of this email message HTML file, we will type a message that we want to send to our user. For example, uh, we, can, uh, we can type something like this. Please uh, click here to confirm your, confirm your email address, like this. And we will uh, make a link out of this text. So uh, I'll use href equals, and I'll close this link. And uh, as a URL, uh, I will use a URL to my PHP script, which will actually uh, read the uh, email token and will confirm a user email address with the database. And the address will be, in my case, it's going to be HTTP localhost and then a name of my project, for example, Swift app and MySQL, and then the name of the script, uh, which is inside of a scripts folder, and then uh, confirm email address.php. And uh, this script will pass one parameter, which will, I'll give it a name token, and uh, token equals and here I'll need to insert token. So I'll come up with um, some a unique uh, character set like this, for example, token, which I will then replace with an actual token. Okay, so this email message will be sent to a user. And because this is an HTML message, a user will be able to click on this link and um, uh, they will be taken to our page the address of which we specified here, and that will be confirm email address PHP with one parameter token, and we will um, insert our token in here. Uh, okay, so we're done with email message. Now let's go back to email confirmation. Uh, I'm into register user class here and load up this uh, email message into our template. Well, I will use um, my email confirmation class uh, to uh, load up uh, email message because we have uh, created 
a, a new a function there which helps us uh, to organize our code a little bit so load up email message and we will assign it to email message variable for example email message so email message equals load email message let's go back to this um, the way I went I uh, hold command button on my keyboard and I clicked on load email message function name and it took me to email confirmation class where I have a load email message um, function declared okay and the way we will load this email message is very simple we will use our PHP functions that will open a file uh, so we will use f open to open a file which is um, located one level up in the folder called include I I named my folder ink in the folder called ink and then email message HTML file for reading so we don't really need this uh, or die for example so we will open this file and then we will read the content of this file into a return value variable and we will close this file and this function will return the content of this file back to our uh, register script so now we have it and we go back here to continue so now the last step is to when we have email message actually we need to replace that email message because remember inside of this email message we have token so um, we cannot send it like this we need to replace this token with an actual unique email token so we go back to our um, uh, register script and I have prepared a little code that will help you to replace this token and here is so of what we do we uh, take this email message and we use a string replace PHP function that will look for a combination of these characters token and we have it in our email message here token so it will look up for these characters and it will replace it with email token value which is declared here email token and our email token is a unique string of 16 characters and it will replace it inside of email message so very a very convenient php function that does a lot of work for us and then we take this email message and when we and then we put it we store it in our email uh, message details in, in message details php array with a key message body so now this uh, email message i mean message details php array will be used uh, to send out email message to a user and uh, the way we send email message is very simple again we will use our convenience class which is called email confirmation to send email confirmation to a user and the function that we declared accepts message details okay so i pass on message details to that function and i'll click on the name of this function to go and to provide business logic uh, to actually send an email message to user and in php uh, email uh, a message sending emails is very very simple so uh, this is the way we do it first of all we need to collect information like uh, message email message subject email address of the recipient uh, where we are sending this email message and then from name from who this email message is going and from email address and then of course message body then we can optional uh, optionally we can uh, provide some headers uh, um, header information like for example content type of this uh, email message and I'm specifying that this content type is uh, text HTML and uh, then we use um, built-in PHP function which is called mail which uh, accepts all of these parameters uh, the email address the subject message body and optionally uh, headers and it will send uh, an email message from your uh, local server um, to a user like uh, email the local server needs to be configured and most probably if you're running it with GoDaddy or Bluetooth you will have email um, um, feature configured on your Apache 
and if you don't you you of course need to, need to configure mod, mod but most of the time it is all ready for you and you can simply use a mail function to send out email okay and we may or may not uh, return uh, a value which uh, from the, from this function but we can leave it like this mail and the email message will be sent okay and uh, this is the last step in in our business logic so we registered a user we created a unique token we stored this unique token in our database and associated it with with the user and now we're sending an email message to a user with that unique token asking them to click on it so that uh, they can confirm their email address next uh, we will need to write a business logic to actually read that um, uh, email token and check whether this email token is found in the database or not okay we are ready with this part of the code and let's uh, test our email uh, sending uh, script to see how well it works Okay, so I'll go back to my uh, Xcode project and I will run mobile application to register a new user. Okay, I'll tap on sign up button, provide a user uh, email address and then password. Now, email address you provide uh, for the user. If you're testing, it should be a new email address that does not exist in the database. Um, but you should have access to it because it's going to send email message to this email address. Uh, before running this application, I actually went to um, MindScale database and I cleared out it. I deleted all users, all test users, um, so that uh, there is no user registered with this email address. And uh, I will provide a first name and last name. And now I tap on uh, sign up button. Uh, registration is successful so let's go um, and check our database now I have users table and it's empty so if I refresh it there is one user and it has uh, all the fields all the information provided let's look at the email tokens uh, table to see if we have an email token there yes we have one record and we have user ID and email token this user ID, like 23, <clears throat> should match uh, user ID in the user's table. So we have user's table and we have user ID 23. So these three, these two should match. Okay, so we have email token. Now we need to switch to our email client and see if we have um, a new email there with our email token. So I will uh, grab my email my browser with um, with the email client and i have a new message here from sergey kargapolov which is from myself and with the subject please confirm email address so when i tap on it it opens up a message and there is nothing in that message except one text that we typed please click here to confirm email message and you see it is uh, and um, it's a clickable hypertext link so I can click on it and it will open up uh, local hosts with my, my project scripts and then uh, confirm email address PHP with a token which is um, which is the same as in database so the token is here everything works but of course the page is not found we, we get a 404 error because we did not create confirm email address PHP script yet. So let's go ahead and cre create this um, confirm email address PHP script and uh, complete this flow. 